Hi, this short video discusses how to get going with a time of flight sensor array from AMS Osram. The part is tiny, less than 5mm long, but not too difficult to solder with a hot air tool. Light comes out from a laser sitting inside the aperture on the left side. It bounces off targets and then returns to the sensor array inside the other hole. By measuring the delay time, an 8x8 resolution image of distances is created. Incidentally, that laser is pulsed extremely fast, at 17 million times a second. To see that, I pointed a photodiode at it. That's a different project. There is an evaluation board available from the manufacturer, but I went the DIY route. The photo shows a soldered part. This was achieved by first applying tinning on the pads on the board, and then cleaning the board, and applying some flux, and then putting the part on top, with some captain tape to protect the device from heat. I then used a hot air tool. Here's a PCB that I used, and I've placed the files on GitHub if you wish to use them. The oval region is intended for an optional 3D printed holder for a thin glass cover. I don't have that currently, but the datasheet recommends it, and there are specific requirements to be met when adding the cover. The other side of the board is mostly empty, apart from a few resistors. The centre row of connections can be used to wire any microcontroller of choice with 33 volt logic levels. In my case, I plan to use a Pi Pico, and that can be plugged directly onto the board using the outer row of connections. Here's the finished result. If you've not used a Pi Pico before, it's really easy. The USB connection looks like a flash drive when plugged into a PC, and the firmware, which I've placed on GitHub, can be drag and dropped onto the drive letter, and it programs automatically and is running within a few seconds. The firmware exposes a USB UART command line interface that can be used from a serial terminal, or you could also use Python. This example sends commands to initialize a device and start streaming. 100 captures are performed and then dumped to a CSV file. There is a ready-made Windows application from AMS Osram, and that can be used too. That application is intended for their evaluation board with an Arduino, but I kept the Pico firmware compatible with that. You could also create your own application. Here's a browser-based one, written using JavaScript. Double-click on the HTML file, and then click on Connect and select the serial port. Now click on start, and after a few seconds the data streaming will begin. There are two graphical screens, the first one being the main one. The way the sensor works means that occasionally it can detect secondary objects as well, behind a closer object. If that occurs, then the second screen shows the location where the secondary object was sensed. Now for the demo. I position the sensor to face nothing within a few meters. I walked from left to right, and you can see the result in grey. I held my hand out at arm's length, facing the sensor. You can see that as a darker grey. When I move my hand, you can see the darker blob move. There's obviously lots more to do. For instance, it's possible to speed things up about fourfold by reducing the number of light pulses that are being used for making a measurement. I also want to try placing different thicknesses of glass and plastic in front of the sensor to better understand how to deploy the sensor in products. If you find any of this interesting, I think Adafruit will have a board with the same sensor soon too, so that's another option if you don't wish to DIY it. But if you have a hot air tool or any other reflay soldering equipment, then it's straightforward to quickly build up a board. Thanks for watching.